We're here tonight to hopefully cover uh, three related and linked topics. I hope we have some time to do it. Uh, two of them have been prompted by uh, campaign literature uh, that I received in the mail, Republican campaign literature. Um, and I want to preface this with uh, my overarching theme here is about character. And the word character uh, derives from the Greek word for etch. So I look at uh, character from the perspective of how we are morally etched or ethically carved. So that's where I'm grounded tonight. And having had some experience with campaigns and campaign literature, uh, both public and private, is, is where I'm going to start here. In October 2008, when I was running, <coughs> utilizing uh, Monmouth County resources, uh, Mayor Jerry Scharfenberger generated a campaign related email containing purposely erroneous, deceitful information intended to defame the Democratic candidates. Libel or defamation of character is illegal. <clears throat> the email he sent was also a violation of U.S. nonprofit tax law and a violation of clearly stated university policy. The General Counsel Office, representing Monmouth University President Daphne, mandated that Jerry attend the meeting to review policy. The assistant counsel that I spoke with said that Dr. Scharpenberger Scharpenber was spoken with, that's a quote, and reminded me and reminded the university policy, which was and is designed to protect the university by complying with the law. University, uh, university counsel did not confirm or deny whether or not Dr. Schaffenberg was reprimanded or chastised for violating uh, strict university policy. In October of 2010, and by the way, Dr. Schaffenberger has neither commented in either way uh, whether he generated the email or denied it, so I assume in his silence he's consenting to the fact that he did do it. In October of 2010, a similar incident regarding the inappropriate use of nonprofit resources occurred when Dr. Dr. Scharfenberger chose to use an aspect of the taxpayer funded municipal phone system intended for emergency use to deliver non emergency uh, municipal message 20 days before an election. This message he delivered had already been disseminated in print in taxpayer funded newsletter Middletown Matters. So, my question is it's rhetorical. Is it appropriate to spend taxpayer dollars twice to deliver the same message? Is it ethical to use an emergency service for non-emergency purposes? I'll let those in attendance and others answer that question for themselves. Moving on to a slightly different topic, but still dealing with campaign literature. I received in the mail two mailings. Um, promoting Jerry Scharfenberg and Kevin Santambrino and really going after uh, candidate Burns. And from my, from my perspective, it, it lacked integrity, it was unethical, uh, false information, deceitful information, and in one particular interest and outright lie, although I am familiar with that based upon what I've just said before. So it's clear to me that Jerry Scharfenberg is trying to ride on Governor Christie's coattails and hide the fact that he has raised taxes over 45% during his six years in office. He is a prime example of the past practices that Governor Christie condemns for getting New Jersey into this mess, into the mess that the state is in, and a poor example for the best practices that the governor is trying to promote. The sorcery and the seat are a big part of Scharfenberg's game. And he has bigger ambitions than, than poorly serving Middletown. His motto should be Jerry first. If you want to help Jerry protect his own quality of life, those of you that do, vote yes, please vote yes for this toy of Trenton and his staggering tax record. Jerry's running mate, Kevin Parker sent to Reno. Okay, as a member of a small board, I know it's not, I'm watching the clock, I've got two minutes. Five minutes Council in a highly taxed Burgundy County for 10 years. Hardly a good omen for the town. 
You'll find yes, sir. Lived in Middletown for less than three years, but is already deeply embedded in the Middletown Republican machine due to his relationship with the New Jersey State Republican to me. Sounds to me like Mr. Graham. You'll find that in the 2008 election, are you? Yeah. Or, sounds like sour grapes to me, sir. The smell of this sir. I'm sure it's all very or do I get to talk to Ms. Uh, Snyder? Five, I waited for your five minutes. You know, it's, not, it's not sour grapes. It's when somebody yeah, breaks, and it's and breaks and violates the uh, sour grapes, please. And then does it repeatedly Sir, and repeatedly. Sir, please, 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 please,